let's go on down to Miley Cyrus because we have to. <laughs> Miley, what did you say? What'd you say, Miley? I'm oh, sorry, Ru. It just tastes so good. <laughs> just like my Meemaw's home cooking. You know, we're country, but we're not like that country where we're like my cousin and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Next to her is the late, great Joan Crawford. Now, that is not a wire hanger. It's not. What is it? It's a wooden hanger. Mariah's Joan Crawford. I think it's a little crunchy, and I don't think Joan would ever allow herself to look that bad. Starting with Aisha. Crazy Daisy is so crazy. She thinks a Kardashian is a... Country in Africa. That's a very good answer. Let's see if you got any matches up here. Let's go to the great Joan Crawford. My eyebrows. My eyebrows. Mm, that was almost nothing like what I yes. put down, but... Up next, Amber Rose. Psycho Sally is so psycho. Instead of kissing her dates goodnight, she blanks them. She stabs them. <laughs> All right, Joan Crawford, Psycho Sally. She cuts the rose bushes. No, unfortunately, that is not a match. Mariah could have given us a little bit more drama. You always remember the shrieking kind of, you know, that intensity from Joan Crawford, and especially in Mommy Dearest. It would have been nice to see a little bit more of that extremity. Now, Aisha, Freaky Fanny is so freaky. Instead of shaking hands, she shakes schlong. Schlong. It trips off the tongue. Let's go to the great Joan Crawford. Since I lost Barbara, yes. could we get Monique to come and be my new housekeeper? Well, you're both Academy Award winners. That skinny bitch. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Now, Joan, what do you have, darling? Shake the shit out of Christina. Ah, oh. not a match. Next up, Mariah. How'd you feel walking the runway? Frankly, I'm surprised to be down here. I definitely believe that there's someone more um, qualified to be in my position right now. Who? <laughs> Carmen Carrera. She played a bitchy version of herself. If I wanted to be offensive, I could play a knockoff Filipino. But I'm not a judge, so. I'll speak for myself. You know, being a Joan Crawford fan, I was so happy that you chose to do that role. I was disappointed, though, that there were a lot of missed opportunities with punchlines. Were you happy with your performance? I was, I was, I was pleased with my performance, yes ma'am. All right. Hey, Kesha! I just woke up here. You're at the Snatch Game, honey. What's that? Next, she's my teenage dream. Hey, Katy Perry! Is that your fragrance? It is. Would you like to try some? No. Okay. All right, next question is for downtown Julie Brown. Yes. Head of the Hoarder is such a mess. When she opens her blank, her personal massager falls out. When she opens her box. Let's move on to Katy Perry. Hi, Rose. Did you really kiss a girl? Have you ever kissed a girl? Ah, oh, well, never. But, uh, yeah. Have you ever f***ed a black guy? <laughs> okay, okay. Head of the Hoarder is such a mess. When she opens her blank, her personal massager falls out. Her clutch. Sorry, not a match. I think that immunity for Alyssa is gonna come in real handy this week. Next question is for Julie Brown. Lady Gaga has finally gone too far. She wore a dress made of blank. Madonna's leftovers. Madonna's leftovers! Cash up. She wore a dress made of blank. I said her stupid monsters because my animals are f***ing badass. Oh, right, that's like what her. you pop stars call your fans. Yeah, I really have to pee. Can I pee? Just to, in just one second, we're, gonna do, we're almost done. I'm going to go ahead and pee over here by Tamar. She's going to go pee yeah. in the corner. <laughs> Kesha. Do you have toilet paper? Yeah, I'll get somebody to clean that up. Thanks, Ru. Detox bathroom break. Alyssa, this week you let down Katy Perry. I want you to tweet an apology to her tonight. 
Hashtag Rupology. Yes, ma'am. But last week, you won immunity from elimination. The three of you are safe. Katy Perry's fans are going to slay me. It was an embarrassment to my career. It's time for the judges' critiques. First up, detox. The problem is Kesha's not really that much fun. It has to be somebody who's kind of fun. I just don't want to hang with Kesha. All right, down to our next star. This Cosby kid is all grown up. Welcome Raven Simone. I just had a vision. Really? I'm a lesbian now. Oh my <laughs> goodness. That's so Raven. That is so neat. All right, first question is for the beautiful Tamar Braxton. Quentin Tarantino is remaking The Wizard of Oz as an action movie. In this new version, Dorothy blanks the Tin Man. All right, Tamar. Well, she kills the Tin Man, okay? Raven Simone, that's so Raven. <laughs> I just saw it. What is it? She blows him. Unfortunately, Raven, that is not a match. I'll try again. No, I saw the same thing. Same thing. This one's for Michael. Rumor has it that they're making a gay version of Batman and Robin. In this movie, the dynamic duo convert the Batcave into a blank. A bed and breakfast. I would stay there. I would too. Raven Simone. The dynamic duo convert the Batcave into a... Weave shop. <gasps> Ooh, Jaden, I just got a vision. You might be lip syncing for your life tomorrow, baby. All right, next up, Jaden Dior Fierce. Today, I'm still trying to put it all together. The look, somehow it just falls flat. As far as being Raven Simone, it became real like, okay, I know what she's gonna, she's gonna see a vision. Once it was funny, the second time it was cute, the rest of the time it died. Don't be jealous of her, Boogie. It's RuPaul. Welcome to the Snatch Game at RuPaul's Drag Race. Give it up for our special guest host, boy RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> now, RuPaul, do I call you he or she? You can call me he, she, Regis, and Kathy Lee as long as you buy American on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out with a RuPaul cookbook. It includes my famous recipe for spaghetti and blank balls. I'm gonna go with spaghetti and tucked balls. Ooh, those sound delicious. Delicious. Oh, yeah. You have yes. to kind of dig to find them. <laughs> what say you, RuPaul? Well, Michelle, my balls are tucked so tight that I blacked out, fell down, woke up a second ago, panicked, and just wrote, now available on iTunes. I'm glad you reminded everybody of that, but unfortunately, that is not a match, RuPaul. RuPaul? I wanted to congratulate you on your Hollywood star of fame. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, my dear. As we say in the industry, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Cricket. Trixie's just kind of like throwing these little RuPaul one-liners, but they're out of place. It's just not fitting. Y'all told her on the internet it was funny. I blame y'all. Ricky Martin is so hot. Blank melts in his mouth and in his hand. Well, he is of the Puerto Rican descent. Uh-huh. I'm going to say flan. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. You've won an uncomfortable phone call to your ex and a half-eaten hot dog from the back of my car. Oh, shut up, RuPaul. Now let's talk about your snatch game. First thing you did when you landed with the American CD, that was funny. Yeah. And then I didn't laugh, like, the whole time. It was one note, literally through the whole thing. I know you. There's something that's telling me you're not all here. When I get nervous here, it's like, I'm at Camp Crystal Lake, and Jason's outside with the machete. It's like that level panic sometimes. Why? I don't know, it's, 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 um, it was like, it was harder than it looks. Um, <laughs> sorry. I, th I thought it was gonna be like my challenge. I was like so excited and I got in there and it was just like, it's like frozen. It was, it was, it sucks. Don't forget what you have and what you offer and who you are, whether this continues or not, okay? Fight for yourself. I just want more of Trixie Mattel. Invite her back here. 
because we want her. All right, Dove, are you ready to play the game? I'm so ready. Here we go. Bianca Del Rio loves living in Palm Springs. It's hot and dry and filled with old men, just like her blank. Celebrities, you get to work on writing your answer. Dove, what say you? Sold out concerts. Oh, nice answer. Yes, I'm a yeah. fan. We love her. All right, let's see if you got any matches. Fingers crossed, Dove. Let's go to Gwyneth. Paltrow. We are looking for sold out concerts. What say you, Gwyneth? We went with meet and greet lines, which is adjacent. It's adjacent. adjacent. We got a match. It's a match. Hey! We got a match. Well, it is hot and dry, and we do have something in the works at Droop to help with hot and dry. We are bringing you the brand new kombucha. This is Come very on, fertilized. Oh. Some of Bosco's jokes, I'm thinking, I think I should get that. I don't get that. Should I get that? Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. Cup spilleth over. Let's move on down to Alana. Do we have a match for Dove? Well, I went diving in her coochie monster before I came here. Wait, who's coochie monster? Yes, her coochie monster. So I would have to say. Her old ass. Her old ass. Her pudendi is awful, Rue. Oh, okay. It's quiet on set. Most of our jokes aren't really landing. It's like the joke isn't coming together fully. It's a funny setup. And then the punchline is just kind of meh. All right, here we go. Raven. Carson Cressley is a bit of a germaphobe. He won't shake your hand, but he will shake your... He will shake your groove thing. Ow! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the celebrities and hear what they have to say, starting with Betsy DeVos. Betsy. My team did not prep me for this specific question. You know, they usually prep me for hearings. So my answer is I will follow up with an answer in the next week. Oh! <laughs> Let's go to the bar, William Shakespeare. Carson Cressley is a bit of a germaphobe. He won't shake your head, but he will shake your... He will certainly shake your globe. Hopefully both of them, darling. I love a pendulous globe or globe two. Globe is not the correct answer. Let's move on down to Gwyneth Paltrow. He won't shake your head, but he will shake your what? I've heard some rumors about Carson, and I've heard that he shakes children. Oh, shakes your He'll children. Shake your children. Quinn and I must have very similar, similar parenting techniques, because I also said children. I guess Miss Daya is looking over my shoulder while I'm writing the answers to the questions. Have you been copying all of her answers? Well, I can't f read, so no, <laughs> Rue, I haven't. Based on how it's going for me, that's a choice. Now, I don't think he will shake your children, but he might walk them in nature. Am I right, Tammy Brown? Oh, yeah, because I saw him walking her children in nature. <laughs> what is that? Excellent. Thank you, Wanda Sykes. I don't know what's going on, but all the girls are struggling right now. I smoked with that beach the other day. Uh-huh. So I had to say, joint. OK. I feel like I'm doing great, but I haven't laughed once. And this is weird, because this is such a strong group of girls. They said he'll shake your maracas. Shake your maracas. It's so important to be worldly and environmentally conscious. There are very few jokes coming out. <laughs> like, 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 there's no funny. This week, the rest of you snatched our attention. But for all the wrong reasons. I really expected more from you. I'm sorry, my dears. But you are all up for elimination. Shut the f What the hell? I am just as bad as Jasmine was this week. 
Up next, YouTube sensation, Trisha Paytas. Oh my God, Ru, you're so pretty. <laughs> it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. A superstar who has been here before. Put your hands together for Miley Cyrus. Oh, sweet nibbly, it's real. It's me, Miss Molly Ray. <laughs> <laughs> what have you learned from being around so many drag queens? Not to trust them. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Okay, Bryce, here is your first question. Before each show, the pit crew stand in a circle and blank each other. Let's start with Miley Cyrus. Miley, you've changed. Well, you know what they say, Ru? I got the best of both worlds. Uh, yes. <laughs> what say you, Miley? Well, I wrote down my handy dandy foam finger. <laughs> oh, they, okay, yeah. Miley, that was not a match for Bryce over there. All right, Asaf, this yes. one's for you. Glamazonian Airways is spicing up their service. The flight attendants don't just warm your nuts, they blank your bags. What say you? They tickle your bags. They tickle your bags. Let's start with Joan Rivers. You've flown for years, you've flown. Oh, many, many years, and it's been awful every time. The only thing that's worse than flying is uh, sex with my ex-husband. <laughs> I would say, Edgar, what part of me do you find sexiest? He'd say, I'd rather not find you at all. <laughs> I'd say, Edgar, what's your favorite position? He'd say, the neighbor's house. I mean, I don't... <laughs> so now we're looking for tickle your bags, Joan. What say you? I said, Miley's foam finger. <laughs> so I just wanted to make fun of the dumb bitch in the front. <laughs> I know you oh, want some oh. of this, Miss Joan. Why is the white girl twerking? They say I'm problematic, she's problematic. Someone cancel her. You know what, you can shut it, Jesus jugs. Oh, oh okay. Blonde, bra well, zipper, lip well, sinker, Miley, Miley. Been, never was. We you have something on your face. Don't touch me. Oh, okay. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. Let's move on down to Trisha. I just wrote down Jesus, because oh. you know, we have a really special connection, if you couldn't tell by looking at me. Jesus, you are my best friend. Not a match. All right, let's go to our next question. This one is for Bryce. Ross Matthews took a DNA test. Turns out he's 100% blank. Glitter. Glitter! <laughs> Let's go on down to Miley Cyrus, because we have to. <laughs> Miley, what did you say? What'd you say, Miley? I'm sorry, Ru. It just tastes so good. <laughs> just like my Meemaw's home cooking. You know, we're country, but we're not like that country where we're like my cousin and stuff like that. <laughs> 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 okay, all right. Up next, sugar. So you were Trisha Paytas. Trish is all about the mukbang. So I thought it was interesting that you had really no food that you were eating. She can be pretty weird, like pretty bizarre. Um, and so I kind of wanted more of that. You had the right idea which is engage with the room. It was just taking the temperature of the room and knowing when to engage because it came off as being a little bit interruptive. All right, up next, Spice. I love that you chose to do an older Miley. It's me, Miss Molly Ray. <laughs> I almost wish that you had just dug deeper into that era of Miley, you know? First of all, you have to have that voice. <laughs> you know, she had that voice, and she was a little bit nasal when she talked. She had that yeah, voice. Yeah, she had, like, like, a head cold the right? entire yeah, four years time. of that Daddy, show. <laughs> Daddy, we, we gotta go out to see, go see Rico, Daddy. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. You were beating yourself on the head with a mallet. And it needed more laughs, too. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of What You Packin'. Hi.